In today's video, I want to show you an AI tool that could analyze very large files. I actually downloaded the book War and Peace. It's over a thousand pages and this AI tool could analyze this and you could chat with the document as well. Usually if you use a chatbot like ChatGPT, you have this little attached file icon right here inside of your chat. But this has a limitation on how big of a file and how many files you could upload to it. All the AI tools have some limitations, but I specifically wanted to show you an AI tool that has the highest limit, far higher than ChatGPT. It's from Google. You could access it at aistudio.google.com. And log in with your Google account. And right here, if you look under the Models tab, they have something called Gemini 1.5 Pro. And then underneath that, you'll see something called a token count. It says 2 million tokens. Now, typically a token is similar in size to a single English word. So in this case, I could probably upload a million or more word document to it. Now there's a website, it's called Project Gutenberg and they have books that are available for free that you could download. So I downloaded War and Peace. It's a massive book. I believe it's well over half a million words. It's definitely over a thousand pages. And I saved this here as a PDF. And right inside of Google AI Studio, all I have to do is press this plus sign and I have to connect this to my Google Drive because you have to upload any document to Google Drive first. So after I connected it, I just have to press upload to drive. Now it's gonna bring me to this upload page. I have to browse or find that document. I've done that already. Okay, that only took a few seconds here. Sometimes it takes a bit longer, but now if you look on the right side, this is 992,000 tokens. Right now, no other AI chatbot could take in a file this size. ChatGPT, Claude, all those other AI chatbots that are not Google AI Studio here are not gonna have this big of what's called a context window to be able to take in a document this large. But now that it's been uploaded, I could go ahead and ask for a one page summary and I could run that prompt right here. And then this might take a little bit of time. I think the last time it took about 30 seconds. If you get into any issues, by the way, if there's any filtering issues here, they do have these safety filters. So you'll have to sometimes lower these filters here in order to run some prompts. And here's my one page recap, War and Peace set in Russia during Napoleon's reign. And this is exactly what I asked for and it's coming directly from this document. Now, let me go right in the middle of this document. Prince Andrews arrives at Petersburg in 1809. So let's see if we could find out if this knows what year this happened. So I said, which year did this take place? Prince Andrew arrived at Petersburg in August and it says August in 1809, which again is right in the middle of this document. These AI chatbots are actually sometimes not very good at looking in the middle of a document. They're good in the beginning of a document, at the end of a document. But in this case, it did a really nice job. Now, I should mention, it's not gonna be perfect every single time. This is a limitations with AI right now. All these models will have this issue. And sometimes it has another issue called hallucination where it just makes something up, which is not correct. So you do have to double check your work, but this is the only model available right now. Gemini 1.5 Pro inside of Google AI Studio, the only AI that could take in a large document, in this case, over a thousand words. And another thing I'll show you here, if you press this plus sign, and I'll just show you here with their sample media, you could even give it an entire movie. So they have some sample movies here. Now this one right here is a tour of the American Museum of Natural History. I could add that as a prompt and say, give me a one paragraph summary. And this is extracting it right now. So this may take a little bit of time, then I'll run it right here. Now this just got added and I press run here and this is 531,000 tokens. And this is a 30 minute video. And this one was 900, almost a million tokens. So you could see between the two of them, I'm still in the same prompt. So it's using both. And I could ask questions or combine that 30 minute video with that thousand page book here to get exactly what I'm looking for. Obviously these two don't intersect in any way, I don't think, but you get the idea of what's possible. So this took about 60 seconds or so, 62 seconds. And here is our one paragraph summary. And I could now continue to chat with that large book. I could continue to chat with this 30 minute video and extract all the information I get from it. Again, one of the best use cases of AI is quickly sifting through massive amounts of information that otherwise would take you days and days 
Now, if AI is new to you, in a different video, I covered the top 50 most practical AI tools available today. So I'll go ahead and link that video here and I will see you next time.